Guys, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, guys. So starting from where we left yesterday about combination logic circuits. Uh, yesterday we were discussing about some basic functions like and or and not. These are the basic uh, binary functions which uh, are operated by the logic gates and represent multiplication or represent addition and not is actually representing inversion of any constant so then we discussed about the logic gates there are three basic logic gates there are more types as well but we can say the basic one are these three which are and or and not these are called a gate the gate are basically electronic component made made by diodes transistor combinations so these logic gates they can perform logical functions logical functions like addition multiplication inversion all these things so as you know for addition you require at least two numbers you cannot add one number so you at least have to have two numbers together to add them to back together similarly for <clears throat> similarly for multi uh, for addition for a sub uh, for subtraction for multiplication for anything you need to have two numbers however for inversion which is in this case here shown inversion doesn't require two numbers you just have to have only one number and you can invert that okay if we are talking about the and gate or uh, or gate and you can see a and b are its inputs these are the two inputs so how many combinations we can make so this is the question so how many combinations we can make the answer is in the next slide how many input combinations you can calculate by this 2 raised to the power n n is the number of inputs so if for example our gate which is uh, and gate inputs are shown here two input and gate so the minimum you need to have two inputs there could be three four or more than that but basic one have at least two inputs so if you have a two input and gate then how many combinations you can make the answer is 2 to the power n n is the number of inputs which are 2 so to the 2 to the power 2 will make 4 so it means you need to have four inputs so there will be four different input combinations now there is a question if i have a three input and get three input so can anybody tell me how many input combinations would i have can you repeat the question please please uh, guys, I'm, I was saying that for a for a two input AND gate, okay, you can have four possible input combinations. How would I know? I I will know from this formula, the very simple formula, two raised to the power n. N is the number of inputs. If you have two input AND gate, you just put two here so two square the answer is four so there are four possible combinations for these type of two input uh, gate my question is if i have three input and gate then how many input combinations are possible no six is, uh, nine 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 no, the, use the formula Okay, okay. 2 to the power n. Now n is 3. So 
what does this mean this means 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 you will multiply 2 3 times so what is the answer now yes six. wrong why 6 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 8 8, eight. eight. Okay, sorry 8 is the answer so that's how we calculate how many possible input functions can be there so for two input simple 2 to the power 2 four combinations for 3 2 to the power 3 eight combinations are possible so this is important for you because uh, in future when you will be making truth table for uh, th this are these are called truth table actually the truth table is the table in which you list all the possible input combinations and you list the output result of these combinations so this table is called truth table every logic gate has its truth table okay the truth table shows the behavior of that logic gate that how does it perform how does it uh, gives the output depending on different in input combinations so the simplest truth table is for the not gate which is simply one input coming in and you will get the opposite as the output okay now the logic gate symbols as you know in electrical electronics you always use symbols to show different electronic components the same case here so the symbol of two input and gate is shown here as you can see it looks like a d capital d in english two input or gate looks like this it's slightly curved whenever you make make sure it is curved and round like a d from the other side so this is also two input output is always one and the not not is shown just like this as you can see in the picture here just like a triangle okay if you remember the diode symbol it's similar to the diode symbol but in diode we used to have a straight line here but it's not there anymore it's there is a bubble here a small circle that sh shows the inverter so you, you need to remember this these are the basic three gates symbol So a NOT gate is an electronic circuit that produces an inverted version of the input at its output. It's, it's, it is simple. We've already discussed that. So it can be shown by if you are giving A as an input, you will get A bar as an output. You can show output as like this or like this. So any one of these uh, notations you can follow. So this is the not gate again the same symbol and this is the truth table for that here you can see this is the input and this is the output a bar a bar is the output now discussing the end gate the output of this gate will be high high means one only if all inputs all inputs by the two four five depending on the gate so gate can have more than two inputs okay but the basic one will have minimum two inputs so the output of and gate will be one only if all inputs are high if all inputs are one so in this truth table here the only case where the output is one is this the last one the last case here and in this case you can see that the two inputs a and b both are high this is a simple uh, multiplication principle as you know if there is a zero in the multiplication it will make the whole factor zero so the same thing is being followed here here you can see 
2 input AND gate and here it is 3 input AND gate. OR gate, the output of this gate will be high. High means 1. If any of the input is high, if any one of the input is high, the output will be high. So if you look at this truth table here, you will see the output is high here, here and here. Why? Because in the input there is at least one number is uh, one. At least one number is high. Here both both are high. Here one is high one. And the only case where there is zero output when the both inputs are zero. So this represents the addition. In addition, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is, uh, here it is shown as 1, but there will be a carry function. You, you understand carry? I don't understand carry. Carry means, for example, if you are adding 23 plus 9, so 9 plus 3 will be 12. So you will write 2 here and 1 will be carried to the next. So this is carry. Oh, okay. No, I remember. Okay, sorry. Yeah, because in normal uh, mathematics, normal arithmetics, the highest number is 9. Okay. So when something becomes 10, the 1 would be carried to the next factor. But in binary, when we talk about binary, the highest number is one this is the highest number and the lowest number is zero so so anything one plus one one plus zero is one okay that's fine but what if we do one plus one one plus one the answer will be more than it should be more than one okay but in binary, there is no number higher than 1. We cannot write 2 because this is not like a normal mathematics. So in binary, so you get the, zero. Yeah, it will be 0, 1, 0 actually. But we will discuss it later on. It's not, uh, I'm just telling you it, there will be a carry. It will be a carry for 1 plus 1 will be 0 and 1 will be carried over to the next. So like this and 1 will be carried over here the, and it will come down like this one zero so one zero represent uh, the total of this last case one plus one anyway here it is uh, the basic thing to remember is that if any one the input is high the output will also be high so that's the behavior of the or gate okay now as i told you we have covered the three basic gates what were those basic gates? Not and and, and or, or. Gate. yes. So not and or. But here now, this is different. This is the NAND gate. So how come this? I mean, this is a this is new type. But this comes from these basic types. Actually, this uh, NAND gate is combination of two gates. N for not. And the other one is AND. So if you join two gates together, not and AND, this will become NAND gate. So the same is shown here in this picture. So this is AND gate. And this is not get. So actually, you can say this is the combination. NAND gate is the combination, and this is the breakdown of that. But when we would talk about its uh, symbol, its symbol will be this one. Now, what is the difference between this symbol and normal symbol? The only difference is this bubble. If you can see the bubble here, in normal and gate symbol there is no bubble here this bubble is showing actually not gate if i go back to show you the and gate symbol 
look here this is the and gate symbol here you will not see any bubble here so there is a very little difference you have to be careful whenever you are dealing with the gates you have to be careful that if you see a bubble it means there is a inverter not gate not gate is also called inverter if you don't see a bubble it is a normal and gate okay the same is same case Okay, guys, so the difference is only in the bubble. See, this is the normal AND gate. There is no bubble here at this point. The difference between uh, 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 AND and AND. Okay. Yeah. This is the two input AND gate. And I want to make it a NAND gate. What should I do? Only add a bubble here. This bubble. So that will be NAND gate. So whenever you are dealing, you have to be careful that you see that there is a bubble or not. Okay, now uh, let's talk about its truth table. So it's pretty logical. Okay, a normal AND gate table is. Okay, teacher, you can say it's the opposite. The opposite of and exactly it will be opposite because all the outputs will be inverted so a normal and gate will be giving output like this i hope all of you agree on this this is the normal AND gate, but normal AND gate only gives high when all of the inputs are high, as in the last case here. Okay, now we are talking about the truth table of NAND gate. In the NAND gate, whatever output comes here, it will get inverted and the output will be inverted. So this zero, it will be converted into one this zero again will be converted into one this zero will be converted into one and this one will be converted to zero so this will be the output of nand gate so it's logical guys so i hope uh, you you can easily remember this now same is the case with the nor gate nor is basically or gate with a not gate actually so the same is shown here so this is the or gate and after that there is a not gate and its output will be opposite to the or gate so if this is the let me draw it here just for this is the truth table of a normal or gate but as we have an inverter here so the inverter will be inverting each one of this into the opposite value with like this so this will be nor gate output so this column is for or gate output this column is for an or gate output and this column is for nor gate output so that's how it is behaving exactly opposite of the or gate okay so i will stop lecture here and i will open it for question and answer session